Hello everybody, it's Amanda here from ScrimpyMommy.co.uk and I thought I'd come on today and show you how I've made one of the little handmade gifts that went in my customer thank you packs for the month of April. So everybody who ordered from me in April got a little pack. Um, this is the thank you pack and then they also get a product based gift as well. Um, which I'm not sharing because that's a secret <laughs> but this is the little thank you pack so I've already done a tutorial on these two little flowers that I made so everybody got some of those everybody who shopped with me got a pack of dimensionals and a little gift bag to put it in that they can reuse uh, and as I say um, they will be will have received a product based gift as well which is typical of the the gifts that I send on a monthly basis but what I want to do today is just show you how I made this lovely little cute treat pouch which does house if I show you one of the lovely flavoured teas this is raspberry it's beautiful and typically Treat holders to hold these are made using the envelope punch board but not everybody has the envelope punch board and I do think that the way that this one's made might use slightly less paper, I'm not sure, I think it's horses for courses but it's definitely an easier way, there's less um, processes in it and anybody can do this with no envelope punch board or any other special tools. So, Without further ado, here it is and I'll show you how we make it. So you start off with a piece of DSP which measures 3 inches by 6 inches. This is painted with Love Speciality DSP, it's beautiful and it's foiled. It's quite thick and it's double sided. So all we're going to do is we're going to just fold it in half. Oh, it's so complicated this project, honestly. <laughs> These are perfect if you're doing a craft show or a craft fair. You could make these as little gifts and then put your details or your business card attached to the back. Great little um, treats for teachers at the end of term because money can soon mount up. Just give these out. It's, it's a lovely cheap little gift. And the fact that it's handmade makes it special. Um, so and, and, you know, I'm sending them as, as a little extra customer gift. Um, so there's lots and lots of uses for them. So you just slip your little tea bag in there like so. Okay, and all we're going to do is really, really complicated, very technical. We're going to get our snail and we're going to glue it shut. Okay, so there you go. That really is as difficult as it gets. And if you press that nice and firm, it will just keep that tea bag nicely in place. It won't fall out. You could do the same thing with little chocolates or little biscuits. You know, and take away a lot of the complication of making these little treat pouches. It looks pretty, it doesn't have to be done in a complicated way. So then I've got one of the um, delicate doilies, and these are retiring, the DSP is retiring. It's such a shame because it's really beautiful, but I have stocked up on the doilies. I'm a shabby chic girl at heart, I love doilies, so I have been and I have bought loads of them to keep me going so I don't run out <laughs> and all I'm going to do is add some little bits of snail like so and then I'm going to place my treat pouch centrally and I'm going to just fold that over now if you wanted to step it up another thing you could do is you could punch tiny holes put ribbon through so that it looks like a little handbag there's loads you can do but we're going to keep it really basic. I'm going to be using the Tutti Frutti, um, these. <laughs> what are they? Sequins. Uh, and these are really cool because they, um, they've already got glue on. Using sequins, if you've got problems with your hands, which I sometimes do struggle, my, my fingers swell up. Um, these are awesome because they've, they've already got adhesive on. You just pick them off and stick them on. Super easy. So we're going to do some stamping, I'm um, using this card base that I cut in error and I'm going to use the Colourful Season stamp set which is absolutely beautiful I'm going to be doing some more work with this. Now originally I used this sentiment here which says you make me smile but upon further investigation I seem to have misplaced it and it's not in my box so I'm going to have to go through all of my stamp sets and I must have put it in the wrong box. So we're going to use a different one and we're going to have Thinking of You instead. Okay. So let's have a look. I think we're having that one. Are we? Let's 
this one. Yes, thinking of you. It'll fit and it'll look pretty. Okay, just make sure my grid paper's not sliding all over the place. So I'm going to mount that on a block. Okay, I'm not too worried if it's straight because I'm going to punch it out. And I'm using Melon Mambo, which is in the DSP. It's not on this particular sheet, but it's in the paper sack. This is Calypso Coral. So I'm going to ink up that lovely sentiment and stamp that there. Thinking of you, beautiful font. I absolutely adore that. And then I'm going to use my Tailored Tag Punch. Um, this is awesome. It's available in the Spring Summer Catalogue um, with the um, True Gentleman Suite, which is the male themed one, but it is carrying over. It's a good punch to get as well because I can give you a sneak peek. Well, a bit of a sneak information. There is another stamp set that's going to coordinate with this punch in the new catalogue. So it's worth getting. Don't tell anybody I told you. <laughs> right, so I'm going to punch that out now, um, like so. And what I'm going to do, just to extend that um, sentiment, I'm going to punch one out in Calypso Coral. I like to do this with the shaped, all the shaped punches. It just makes your sentiment have a sort of a frame to it, and it also makes it a little bit bigger, I suppose. Um, so I'm just going to layer that on there like so and it just makes that sentiment just stand out that little bit more. I've not put that on terribly straight, let me try and straighten it. There we go, that's better. Okay. And then we can adhere that to our treat pouch. Again, just using snail. Uh, and what I do is, um, much like anybody else that makes anything in bulk, I'll cut all my pieces first, then I'll do all my stamping, all my punching, and I'll, I'll have it in like a little, a little production line. So now I'm just going to attach some of these lovely little sequins. I think I'll have two, I'll be generous on this one, and I'll put two. Sometimes I'll only put one on. I'll leave that there, that looks fine. And there we go, that's our little treat pouch two hole tea bags without the need for fancy tools. Go and give it a try and I'll see you again soon.